Welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section. And we have quantitative reasoning from Lantern Step Book 6, page 112. Thank you for joining in today. And to our new viewers, kindly subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. To our subscribers, please do well to like and leave a comment on this video. Okay, so here we have 2, 3, 6, 1. Here, 3, 5, 3, 6. Here, 5, 8, 9, and 7. All right, so let's call this shape A, shape B, and shape C. All right, so we're going to um, walk through this. So let's try to find numbers in shape C. So to find 5 in C, okay? So what we do is 2 plus 3 here, right? That gives us 5 here. So to get C, you're going to add A plus B. That will give you C, okay? So let's try to find uh, this 8 here. So to find 8 in C, you have 3 plus 5 equals 8, okay? And to find 9 in C, we have 6 in A plus 3. That gives us 9. And to find 7 here, we have 1 plus 6. That gives us 7. Okay? So, assuming we want to find uh, any number in B, to find... To find 3 in B, that's the 3 up, we're going to have 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2. That gives us 3. Okay? And to find A, any number here, maybe you want to find 6 here. To find 6 in A, to find 6 in A here, we're going to have 9 here minus 3. 9 minus 3, that gives us 6. So when you calculate this, ensure you take note of the position. So this plus this gives you this. This minus this gives us this. This minus this would give you this. Okay? So if you're, if you're looking for this value here, ensure you take note of this and this. So 8 minus 3 that gives you 5. If you're looking for 7, 1 plus 6, that gives you 7. And if you're looking for 6, 7 minus 1, that gives you 6. Okay? So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. Bye.